What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we are talking about more Episode 9 rumors. More Episode 9 rumors that point to the fact that Lucasfilm and Disney are so ass backwards when it comes to Star Wars. This one talks about Han Solo. Han Solo could make an appearance in Episode 9. Now, how would that happen, you ask? Probably some type of flashback or something like that. Ultimately, what it comes down to is they need him for marketing. They need him for marketing because they need this movie to be a massive home run. They're already using Luke for marketing because they killed Luke in episode uh, 8. But, you know, you got to bring him back because we got to get the marketing. Because they act like they want to move on from the original trilogy. They don't want to acknowledge the original trilogy. But as soon as they need these characters that people actually care about for marketing because they need to make money, suddenly, oh yeah, they're good enough now. This all goes back to the beginning of Episode 7, right before J.J. Abrams came on board, when Michael Art, who was writing the story and the script, all of a sudden, Kathleen Kennedy, this is documented, Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm told him there was too much emphasis on Luke Skywalker and the, new, and the old characters, and they wanted to focus on the old characters. I'm sorry, they wanted to focus on the new characters and push the old characters to the background, because Luke Skywalker was taking too much attention away from Rey and Poe and Finn. You're goddamn right he was, because he's Luke mother effing Skywalker. And after 30 years, when Luke Skywalker walks into a room in a Star Wars movie, everybody's gonna pay attention to him because he's Luke Skywalker. So he absolutely should be taking every single bit of attention when he is on screen. Now we're at this point in this trilogy where we should, we should be able to let go of the old characters and embrace the new characters if Lucasfilm knew how to tell a story. If Lucasfilm was not so caught up in identity politics, we should be at the point now in episode 9 where we're okay letting go of these older characters that we grew up with. We should be able to let go of them because you have given them the proper story arcs, you have given them the proper send-off, and because you have intertwined the new characters slowly into the story with the old characters that you should have established a lot better with this new Disney reboot, now at episode 9 we should be at the point where we're ready to fully embrace the new characters and let go of the old. But that's not where we're at. You guys have done such a terrible job of developing this trilogy. And now you're at a point where, oh wait, wait, they don't care about our new characters. We can't sell our movie on these new characters. Why? Because you are so worried about identity politics. Because you are so worried about moving from the past, moving on from the past, not acknowledging the original trilogy, not acknowledging the prequel trilogy. You have been so focused on your social justice agenda. Now you have put yourself in a situation where you are coming up with anything you can to pull anything from Star Wars that ever meant anything so you can use it to market this movie. We've heard the Darth Vader rumors recently. Now we're hearing Han Solo. You already are going to use old footage of Carrie Fisher. But you tell us we shouldn't worry about the, the old characters, though. No, no, no. you got to worry about these new characters that nobody cares about. This is Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars right here. An ass-backwards way of telling a story. It is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. Again, I'll say it before. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Cobra Kai did it exactly like you should have done it, Star Wars. Cobra Kai, after so many years, we, re we, we restart this uh, franchise... We start out with the new, with the old characters. We see what they've been up to. We start establishing where they are in this world. We reestablish them into the story. And then as the story progresses, the newer characters, the newer diverse characters are slowly sprinkled into the story just a little bit in the beginning. And then they slowly start to develop, slowly start to develop. And then towards the end, we are fully invested in these new characters because they have complemented the old characters in the right way. But that's not what Disney did. No, 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 no. Screw like Luke Skywalker. We don't want him taking attention from the whammon and the diverse cast because we have to check our social justice check mark boxes. No. So you wanted to shove these new characters in our face, make us have to care about them, force us to care about them. And if we didn't, 
If we didn't, we were racist and we were sexist and we were misogynist. You have screwed this entire thing up, Disney. And that's why I'm going to continue to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it every day until you acknowledge it. And until you get the right leadership at Lucasfilm that actually understands and respects Star Wars. Because right now, you don't have it. You have people like Kathleen Kennedy and Pablo Hidalgo and Carrie Hart. They don't care about Star Wars. They only care about the social justice factory that Kathleen Kennedy has created. And it's absolutely ridiculous. So that's why we continue to get these rumors of all these old characters that you tell us oh no you can't focus on them but as soon as you need to use them for marketing they're they're all of a sudden they're just so important to you right <sighs> it's so frustrating but that's where we're at so another day another rumored original trilogy icon uh being talked about for episode nine what do you guys think about this are you more interested now are you so excited now because i know you're not i don't even know why i'm asking that question because i know for a fact that you're not excited because i'm not excited i am so frustrated with this i am so aggravated because i should be invested in this trilogy i should care about this i should be ready for the final chapter of the sequel trilogy i should be ready to fully let go of the old characters and embrace the new characters. If these idiots at Lucasfilm had any idea what they were doing, this is what the point we would be at. But instead, now we're just going all the way back full circle to the beginning where you should have started from the beginning of this sequel trilogy. But this is what happens when you are more, more focused on social justice than actually telling a story. And this is a problem we're seeing within the entertainment industry in, in a big on a big scale. But Lucasfilm is taking the cake right now. They have screwed this up so bad. And there's no good end in sight right now. So frustrating. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later.